Welcome to this short tutorial showing how we can configure magnet field software to work with a Topcon robotic instrument. Once you open the magnet field software, you'll get the following screen. You can create a new job and the job icon. You can configure the instrument to use uh, robotic uh, using the command configure survey. And usually the configuration will already be set. Uh, as my robotic or my DS robotic in this area here and we can edit the configuration by double tapping this uh, button uh, to the right. Back in the main job screen a couple of other things we can check under configuration is that the coordinate system if it's a local coordinate system the projection and geoid will be set to none. Also under configure and display the coordinate type will be set to ground and the coordinate order should be set to easting, northing and height uh, as opposed to northing, easting and height. So we can select the order there. Now if we now look at the total station and power on the total station to get that ready for connection, we can just look at the total station screen now. I just want to explain the icons on the right hand side. This uh, screen is the screen that we use to connect and it's the standard measurement screen. I, there are a couple of other screens available on the DS. By pressing the uh, program key, you can see that the onboard program on board the instrument is magnet field in this instance and TS shield is also installed. Pressing the program key again, I'm taken back to the normal measuring mode. If I was to press the escape key in this mode, it would take me to the menu screen, the main startup screen of the DS. And we want to hit the observe icon here. So this is the screen we need to be in to actually use the instrument robotically. I just want to uh, take you through some of the icons on the right hand side, the ribbon menu on the right hand side. We've got battery power at the top. We've got prism type here. If I press and hold this icon, then the pop-up menu shows you the different types of uh, prism uh, types available to, for selection. But all this should be driven through magnet field software. This is the uh, search icon. Uh, currently, the instrument isn't searching. If I press and hold, again, you can see the different options uh, for search and track. But again, they will be uh, controlled by the magnet field software. The icon below, this is the laser pointer icon. If I press and hold this icon, I can see I can choose between a laser pointer or a guide light, a guide light on the instrument, uh, which uh, assists with setting out or seeing which direction the instrument telescope is pointing in. The icon below that is the uh, tilt sensor icon. And for this example, um, I've got the uh, tilt sensor turned off uh, as the instrument is uh, on an in an unstable position. But for normal working, you would set the uh, uh, tilt correction so that uh, both horizontal and vertical elements of the tilt correction are applied. This icon at the bottom shows the connectivity with the data collector and we'll notice that the aerial is in the down position. In other words, there's no Bluetooth communication between the total station and the data collector at this point. And finally, at the bottom of the screen, we have a, a keypad option to type for typing in data. But for normal operation, this is the standard screen that should be shown on the instrument. I'll flip back now to the uh, data collector. And in magnet field, we would uh, now go to uh, the connection option. Confirm that we want to be connected to the robotic and hit the connect button. When we hit this connect button, um, if we look back at the, uh, the total station screen, we should see some activity um, on one of the icons in the ribbon menu on the right hand side. The data collector will search for the Bluetooth uh, um, identification on the robotic instrument. When that's selected, uh, I select the instrument serial number and um, connect. Then the icon in the bottom right hand corner uh, will now indicate that connection has been made. You'll hear a connection tone and the green arrow uh, shows that the data is passing between the instrument and the data collector. And then we can start our survey. So this completes this short tutorial on basic setting up of the DS robotic and magnet field.